All right, so now the bow limbs for this bow are gonna be done pretty much the same way as the no heat 40 pound bow with fiberglass rods in it. So you're going to need your two four, in, uh, four foot long pipes. And you're gonna also need two prepared cores of fiberglass. I'll put a link down below so you can see the original video where we make this. The only difference is that instead of using the five foot lengths of pipe, we're only using the four foot lengths, but the cores are the exact same length and everything. So what I'm going to do is just drive these in here. One down. All right. So both the bow limbs are now finished. So you can see it's got a good flex to it. And these will be the cores for our bow. So now we're going to go ahead and put everything together and we'll see how it works. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put everything together and I got it strung up. It's a little tricky to do this, but here it is. So I put everything in place. All my pieces are painted. I've just got to go back and paint the exposed limbs that are showing through. I also went ahead and put a cap, or not a cap, but a coupling on either end, just a regular coupling. And I used that as sort of a tip of overlay. But I left the top part open because I'm going to be using this for something a little later on. But here you can see it's all set up. I haven't weighed it completely. I'm going to shoot it at a shorter draw a few times before I attempt to bring this thing to full draw because it's heavy. But I'm getting 20 pound, uh, 50 pounds at 20 inches so far. So we'll see where it pans out. But I'm just going to shoot it real quick, see how this goes. Hopefully it doesn't explode. That was neat. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead, shoot this a few more times. Hopefully it all stays together. If it doesn't, then you'll be sure to hear about it. There we go. Okay, the bow's all strung up. I've already shot it a few times. It's pulling 70 pounds at 28 inches, 75 pounds at 30 inches, and 80 pounds at 32 inches though I'd say 28 to 30 is probably the limit I wouldn't really consistently draw this thing back much further than that what else because this bow is truly center shot one thing to keep in mind is that it will work best if you're using a D loop of some sort for a release or if you're using a D loop a larger D loop as a secondary grip for your arrow just because the twist of your fingers are going to impart twist on the arrow that the bow won't be able to compensate for because it's truly center shot and just has a brush style rest it's not an active finger shooting style rest but you still can shoot fingers and one of the cool things about this is that because the arrow is under such little tension or such little pressure when you're shooting this thing and it's not being pushed up against anything in a harsh way, you can shoot a wide variety of arrows, and it's a lot safer. But you're going to have to get used to how they shoot. So 
one of the things I have over here is my, I'll kind of explain my reasoning behind some of these things. My thought would be, first off, this bow is ridiculously heavy. So, this thing down here, this main point over here, is actually for a stabilizer. Something so that you can weight the lower limbs and it'll bring everything into balance, even though this is a heavy bow. I was thinking, since this is a zombie bow, instead of a stabilizer, I will add a stabilizer. So this is a uh, just a knife I forged from a leaf spring, put it into a PVC pipe with some wood. It's really simple. More for looks than anything else. But, get it in there nice and tight. And there you go. It stabilizes the weight just a little bit. And I mean, basically now we have a bayonet on the front of our bow. And a good friend of mine said that you can't go wrong putting bayonets on everything. You can also take this and put it on either the top or the bottom of the bow. And when held with the main handle and this front grip, you've got an interesting sort of stabbing, slicing weapon over here. You can turn it around and you've got this too. So really there's a lot of things you can do with this. It's still really ridiculous, but it'll give you some distance. Plus it makes you feel like you're using a chainsaw. But anyway, here's the bow. I wouldn't suggest shooting with that on there. Then you also have this section here, which is actually hollow all the way down into the handle. So if you wanted to, you could stuff a little plastic bag with survival gear, whatnot, fishing line, um, water tablets, whatever you wanted. You could also stick stuff in the top and bottom if you cap them off. But anyway, here it is. And that's it. So here's the bow. All finished up and ready to go. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.